hello everybody today i'm going to show you how you can start modifying your gta 5 modifying your gta 5 can allow you to add many add-ons to your game and it can also help you to improve your graphics and many aspects of the game so let's fire on before you can modify your gta 5 you will need some files i have left a link in the description to download all these files some of them are gta 5 config gta 5 config hip adjuster.ini trainer v pack file limit adjuster menu sp open for or open iv script hook v and script hook v.net i've already downloaded all these files so i need not to do them again however click on each and every link it will take you to a page then you make sure you download all of these files script hook v.net you can download the zip file okay and also this particular one you can click on the code and then you download the zip file from there as for open iv or open 4 this open iv is very simple to download it just click on download now and it will download one last most important thing that we must do before we begin modifying our game is to back our game up let's back it up guys because if we uh, we mess up we must come back to our original files to do the backup just go to your uh, your game's main folder okay i'm not on steam so i'll just right click and go to open file location and then uh i can go back like this and then right click on it I'll, you just copy the entire games folder okay and then you you play you paste it somewhere the backup takes a very long time but it is worth doing it guys okay so after you have finished the backup then now we can move on with the modification now you open your game's main folder make sure you have a folder with the name mod m-o-d-s mods so if you don't have it you need to create it if you already have it then it means you are, maybe your game has already been modded before so you create the mod the folder after creating the folder you make sure you copy this update from your game's main folder to the mods okay the update and the x64 you can copy both of them from your game's main folder and then you paste them in your mod the newly created folder that you have named it mods you, you paste them there again it will take a long time before it can paste depending on your pc okay let's begin the installation one after the other first we are installing the open 4 or open iv click on it continue you agree continue then uh, you press continue again and then it will download the necessary files okay after the installation you can then open open 4 and then it will ask you windows okay so you select windows and then you go to browse you go to browse and then it should automatically detect your your your, your games folder but if it does not then you need to manually search for where your your game's main folder is located and then you select the folder it should show something like this successfully gta.ex version so that means uh, you are good to go now then you go to continue okay and then you continue when it opens like this the first thing to do is to go to edit mode and press yes then click on asi manager and then install all these three asi files or application just install all three now open the game's main folder once again open file location to open it now we are going to extract script hook v.net so i'll extract it and then you will enter the folder and then you make sure you copy the entire files okay except the license and the readme right click you copy okay and then you go into your games folder and paste them there i already have them that's why it is asking me to replace now back to our files again now script hook v we extract that one to script hook v and then we enter the folder we open the folder and then we open bin and then we copy both script hook v and din put eight okay these two files you make sure you select them hold control and then select both of them and then you copy them to your games main folder uh, I already have them, so it will ask me to replace. I'm not going to do that. So you paste them into your game's main folder. Now, back to the next thing, uh, the next file. Uh, 
we are going to install the pack uh, file limits okay again we extract that one too you extract it and then we extract it we open the folder and then we copy both the dot a s i and the adjuster okay we copy both to the game's main folder the next thing is the train v okay we extract that one too and then we enter we open the folder and we copy the train v dot a s i and the train v we copy both and then we paste them into our game's main folder i already have them there so it's, it asked me to replace now uh the next thing we are going to install is the heap adjuster okay we extract it once again we enter or we open the folder and then we copy both the heap adjuster and the heap adjuster.asi we paste them into our game's main folder now let's extract the gta5 config file we extract it after the extraction let's open the folder now for this one we need the open iv okay the one that we installed initial initially so you open the open iv go to windows and then you wait for it to finish loading after that anytime you want to use open iv you need to click on the edit mode first okay edit mode and then you press on yes and then now let's go to mods mod okay now let's go to mods and then we go to update and then update.rpf and then common and then data now we scroll down to look for game config.xml now let's look for our games version by right clicking open file location go to the launcher you right click on it properties and then you go to details okay details now you see your games version okay so you take note of the version of the of your game now you go back to the game config files and then you look for the version the same version you click on it go to for more modes and then you choose 0.5x now we can close that folder now we are going to replace our original games config file with the one that we just download downloaded but we need to click on the edit mode and click yes before we can drag it okay you drag and drop it into the open iv to replace it after that you can close all archives now let's install the manual sp the installation of the manual sp is very simple it's as usual we are just going to extract it and then we enter into the folder the readme is important because uh you need to know the keys that you are going to open the menu when you are in the game so the f8 key you are going to use the f8 key when you are using the keyboard f8 key to uh, open the menu of this menu sp okay and you can also check through if you're using gamepad the combinations that you are going to use so it's very important to note that uh now open your games main folder okay your games main folder and then we can now copy the menu staff folder together with the menu.asi file copy both of them okay you copy both of them and then you paste them into your games main folder now our game is ready to receive any mode being map or if car mode or any other mode so i have nissan gtr here let's extract it so first you need to extract the file then you open the folder then you copy this folder to your your, your let's open our games main folder file location okay you open your games main folder you go to mods then update then uh x64 okay then you you see the dlc packs you drop or you copy the gtr folder and drop it there okay then after that after that you open open iv and then you click on the edit mode okay click on yes now go to mods and then go to updates and then update.rpf and then common and then data and then you scroll down you see dlc list okay right click on it don't double click on it no right click on it and click on edit if you double click you are not going to be able to do it right click on it and click on edit then you copy the last line copy the last line and then you can put your cursor there and then you hit enter 
to give space okay then you paste it here now this is where we are going to write the gtr24 but in order to be accurate go to the gtr right click on it rename and then click on it and copy the name right from there and then you come to in between the two slashes you delete the name that is already there and then you paste the gtr24 there now you are done you save it and then you go to files and close all archives now you have finished the installation of your car your car mode let's also see how to install a graphic mode one of the best free graphic modes is called redux the link is in the description box you extract it you see an oiv file for that one you just open your open iv click on the edit mode and then you just drag and drop it on it click on install uh, and then you click on modes folder and then you click on install again i've already installed it i need not to do that again so it will take some time but after the installation you are done so this is how to install mods on gta 5 game so when you are within your game you click on the f8 key from your keyboard to get access to menu menu sp with menu sp you can do a lot of things you can do a lot of things maybe in another day we are going to look at what we can do with these options hope to see you people once again if this video was useful to you make sure you like comment subscribe and also share to your friends hope to see you people once again until then bye bye I'm a